Welcome to the greatest place on earth, the Barber Vintage Motorsports Museum. This is a living museum. In fact, most of these motorcycles and cars actually run. So, where did all this come from? And who is George Barber? Alabama businessman George Barber grew up in the dairy business but his passion was racing Porsches. George worked on the cars himself and earned 63 wins behind the wheel. In the 1980s, George shifted gears from racing to collecting, first with cars, then with motorcycles. Starting with a trio of Honda V4s and an extremely rare 1952 Victoria Bergmeister, his collection grew to 450 motorcycles and 20 race cars. In 1995, in downtown Birmingham, George opened the doors to his personal motorsports museum. And then, just a few years later, something big happened. The three-year-old Barber Museum loaned 21 rare motorcycles to the world-famous Guggenheim Museum for the Art of the Motorcycle Exhibition. It became the most attended event at the New York Guggenheim since they opened in 1937. Then, the exhibit traveled to Europe. And Bill Bauer is a beautiful museum there too, and I must say that it probably gave me a little inspiration to come back home and do something a little bit better than what we had in downtown Birmingham. Fast forward to now. This is the largest motorcycle museum in the world. This 228,000 square foot building is home to over 1,500 motorcycles in the world's largest collection of rare Lotus race cars. Outside these massive windows is a world-class racetrack where both motorcycles and cars compete for glory. Every year, hundreds of thousands of people enjoy heart-pounding IndyCar racing, classic car racing, and vintage motorcycle racing. Inside the museum, as you check out the oldest bikes, take a moment to imagine yourself as an early motorcycle inventor. The internal combustion engine was just a recent invention. Back then, transportation meant horses, bicycles, or something powered by steam. The gasoline-powered internal combustion engine and the mass production of motorcycles changed the world. Motorcycles were like a modern horse that you could ride just about anywhere. In fact, the first vehicle to cross the USA coast to coast was a motorcycle. In wartime, motorcycles replaced horses. They were fast and agile. And the world also changed motorcycles. In the 1920s, board track racing took the country by storm. Dangerous, stripped-down bikes, without brakes, thrilled the public. After World War II, soldiers returning to America modified leftover military bikes. Making them lighter and faster, or more comfortable In Europe, where the roads are narrow, the motorcycle remained a useful mode of transportation, as it is to this day, throughout the world. And from Japan, 
a very practical motorcycle came to America. This is the lead look. Sleek, trim, agile. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. And that brings us to now. Here at the Barber Vintage Motorsports Museum, you'll see it all. From the birth of motorcycles to the cutting edge prototype bikes of tomorrow, and each displayed as a snapshot in time, often a significant moment in that vehicle's life. To capture that moment, the museum's restoration team comes up with a plan. Restoration is where we have to take them into our shop, do a complete evaluation, research, and then try to restore the bike back to its original condition. Normally what determines the bike being restored is we don't have all the components that came with the bike, a lot of parts are missing, or in fact someone has changed a lot of parts. And conservation is when we have a bike that's got a lot of the components on it, but it's not quite where it needs to be. So we'll source up some used parts, some period looking pieces, and we'll try to add that back to the bike to get it as close to the original as we can. But the most important thing as a museum, you have the responsibility to have original bikes that are preserved. And those are the ones that are most hard to come by, and those are the ones we cherish in finding. These bikes are simply brought into the collection, we check them out mechanically, and from that point forward, we just simply do all the conservation efforts we can to keep them in that period condition. So go, enjoy, explore and experience the beautiful Barber Vintage Motorsports Museum. Just don't touch. Thank you for being here. I appreciate so much you taking the time to come visit us. If there's anything we can do for you while you're here, please let us know.